Hello everybody and welcome back to Alpha Sapphire. So, um, nothing has changed in between recordings, this is the same session. Um, I am still not sick, but still a bit sick, so I might still sound the same. Uh, by the time you actually get this in the last episode, it's gonna be like 3-4 weeks since I was actually sick. Uh, I should have probably mentioned that in the previous episode, but it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so Team Aqua, I believe, was making its way to a mountain nearby. So that's where we are going and that's what we're gonna do. So, maybe there are some trainers on the way, I don't know. What? Why couldn't we run away? Okay then. You wanna fight? Nope. Uh, go through the grass. Wow, a horde of Kecleon. Actually, we could take these guys on, I wanna see. They're only level 15, so what about Blizzard? Let's see. Oh, they go first. All of them go first. That wouldn't even have Shadow Sneak, wow. Alright. Two of them avoided the attack. The other ones are dead. Or two of them. The other one got frozen. <laughs> wow. But now they all turned into ice types. Or at least the one that got hit. The other ones are still normal types. And so then we will use Surf. And let's hope that cleans up the remaining ones. There we go. I don't know, it was an unnecessary battle, but I still wanted to do it. Because you don't see horde battles every day. I think we already beat these people, yep. We can go to the safari zone whenever we want, so let's just head down here. Oh, are you a Pokemon Center? Well then. That wasn't there in the original game, I guess they want to make it easier on you. But I'm not going to complain, because that's actually pretty nice. Ah, okay. Nice sign. Just, just out there. Okay, then. Tentacool. Tentacool is swimming in the tentapool. Now it's Tenten... Gone. I don't know, I didn't know where I was going with that. Okay, look at that, that's a nice uh, big mountain. But it's not called Big Mountain, it's called Mountain Pyre. I don't even know how you actually say that. I mean, just say something that sounds like the letters in that combination. Star you. Okay, maybe it's not that good to have a, a water type out first. However, we will manage in some way or another. What do we have in terms of offensive moves? We have hidden power dragon type. Let's use that. At least I believe it was dragon type. I should probably just go back and watch that episode where I actually say what it is.
You know, if it really is dragon type, it's kind of useless now that we have an ice move. But it worked okay against Staryu, so I'm not gonna complain too much. Grumping. He is Grump, and I am not Grump. This is the Grumping. Okay, let's surf. Also, just forget about what I just did. Okay, please. It's, it was just stronger than myself, it just happened. Uh, okie dokie. Let's just surf. Wasn't that effective, but well, it's gonna do the job. Rest? Oh no. What is this, a competitive battle? Are we doing this right now, Crumping? Are we really? Hidden power, let's see how strong that is. Yeah, you know what? I think it's hidden power psychic. And not dragon. How can I forget? Like, I forget so many details that are actually important to the story. Or the let's play. Not the story, really. Okay, but we got him. He was supposed to wake up this turn, but now he's gonna sleep for even longer. Poor little Grumpig. Metagross get, is getting to level 50s. That's so high. Metagross doesn't need to be that high, but we can't stop him. We have the experience share on, so. Oh, that's a spooky Pokemon. This looks a lot like Lavender Town, doesn't it? In Lavender Town, you had like the same thing going on, but it was like a resting place for Pokemon. But that one made more sense. Like, why is this one just on a mountain? Like, in a mountain, far away? You need Surf to get here? What if your Pokemon dies along the way? <laughs> oh, that's a sad thing to think about. Nice critical hit. The root levels up. Swag dial. All, all the Pokemon level up. We are going to be set. Once we arrive to the next gym, we're like level 60. Or at least on our way to level 60. Um, okay. Yo! What kind of Pokemon are you? Shubbit. Shubbit is actually a Pokemon that I never use on my team, but would be cool. It has a Mega Evolution now. So that's pretty cool. Um, but my team is set, like I said in the last episode. Ooh, Cleanse Tag. I think that lowers the uh, wild Pokemon, and I'm actually going to equip that. Since I'm not using an item right now. Unless I find something better. No, it doesn't look like it. That's fine. You are a trainer. And not creepy at all. Sableye. Sableye is a Pokemon I never liked that much. It's cool that it got the Mega Evolution. And actually, it's it's shiny version of the Mega Evolution has like a big gem, but it looks like a rupee because it's like green, which I think is a nice reference, even though it probably is just coincidence. Oh. Confused. Let's hope we just attack. No, never. Never get lucky. Let's take uh, this moment to recover. Or not. He, okay, let's hope he can recover now. Okay, good.
Let's do it once more and then we will be set. Okay, good. Let's surf this guy away. Nice. And we're getting money, which is nice, because we blew all of our money away last episode. That's the rebel. Oh. This is actually a pretty sad place. And here we find a dust skull. A dust skull is a big one that would be cool for uh, a team. But not mine. I don't like dust knower as much. The last evolution. Plus, you need to trade him. Ah, this little Bobby wants to bell me. Baby's first bell. Her name is this uh, fairy tale girl. She actually does look like someone from the anime fairy tale. But again, that's probably just a coincidence. Hello there, Jigglypuff. Do you want to surf? I guess that's a no. Aqua tail. Hmm. It is beauty. Nah, I'm gonna hold off. Aqua tail is not the move that we want. Even though it would be nice for contests, we will probably get a move later on that I actually do want to use. And that's more useful. Right now, hidden power will serve its purpose. I feel like you're a trainer. Yep. He is. At sushi. That's like somebody's Twitter account. At sushi. 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 Hello, Machoke. Bye, Machoke. Oh, he survived. There we go. There goes my choke. We get closer to a level up. And we're moving on. Is that a double battle? It looks like one. Let's check our speed before I do anything rash. Okay. So, the root shoot out speed. That means we can fly and then surf. This is a strange combination of two people, isn't it? Okie dokie. So, surf. And fly. And now the route should finish off Jeffrey next turn. We can use recover just in case it actually goes through. Oh, side beam. Okay, we take it. Nice. And the route did a good job. And another battle. Let's hope we can recover. Otherwise, Maltic might die. 
sure, but we should be fine, even though that's just jinxing it, isn't it? Okay, let's use Recover Frisk. I feel like all the references are happening today. It's like the, the reference episode. I'm not gonna even say what it was a reference to, even though it's, again, coincidence. Most people will know. At least the people from a certain fan base. And as you can see, Recover is really nice. I can just revive Malotic every single time. As long as we have enough HP to at least take one hit, since our speed will never be great. The Nairo is max HP, max defense, uh, special attack, not defense. Which uh, gives us the opportunity to regen a lot of health. But we also take hits. Even though that's okay, because we, can, we are allowed to get hit. Because we have so much HP. And then the special attack is nice to actually kill our opponent. However, that being said, we are getting in a, a pickle. And there we go, crisis averted. Druid is level 40, wants to learn Uproar, which is a strange move for him to learn. And we're not even gonna learn it. 40, yeah, wow. Rest. Lin Loon wants to learn Rest. Or Six the Gale, that's strange. Strange moves are being learned today. But we're not taking any of it. Instead, we're taking this Lex Incense. Which, it's funny, in the last episode we actually found someone who sells those. And there's a sea incense, so yeah, that's pretty cool. These are for, um... Certain Pokémon. I believe the Lex Incense is for Snorlax. If you breed with a Snorlax, you get a Munchlax. And if you use a sea incense with a Mantine, you get a Mantike. I believe. And here we have Kecleon. Now, if that one carries Shadow Sneak, we might be in a bad situation. But let's try to recover anyway. And it was just Shadow Claw. So that's good. Shadow Claw. We're actually getting low on Surf PP now. Surf's PP is almost up. It's almost gone. PP up. Um, did he just change himself to a ghost type or something? Because that means that Surf does hit for quite a lot. Yeah, okay. Nice. Let's see if I have like a spare leper berry somewhere. Mm. Berries. Yeah, seven. There you go, ten more serves. Should be enough. And I guess this is the outside. So now we're on the mountain. With some good music. And... Okay, that's my bike. That's the save option. But let's use... The dowsing machine. Now we really look like an alien. Like, just imagine someone actually running around with this thing on their head. I believe there's a Firestone somewhere around here. Or TM61, Will-O-Wisp. Not that good of a move in single player, but it's used in competitive a lot. So that's fine. Oh. Why just here? Oh, I guess it must be up. Oh, look at that. That's some cinematic view going on. I don't even trust the item finder, really. Didn't even find this item, it's just hidden in plain sight. And... Wow, look at this 
camera view, though. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh, Ultra Ball! And the wild Pokemon in this area is... Meditite. I think you can find Meditite, Vulpix, and Chimeco here, and probably some other Pokemon too. Chimeco is an interesting Pokemon, and Vulpix. I don't know, man. I like Vulpix, but I've never used it on a team before. I really want to. But we already have Phil, so I guess that ain't happening today. And as you can see, we have some Team Aqua goons to uh, take care of. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!